Alright, welcome back everybody to Let's Play Albion. So, as I was saying last time, my choice of party is actually pretty limited at this point. Um, what I can do is at this point, basically, I can either go get back the duo again, the druid, and uh, go get Malthus and Sierra back. Damn this fight. Oh my god. Um, or, I can instead decide that I don't want either of them. And, actually I'm not going to do that, I don't want him to waste any magic. And I can go get the warrior chick, and then a character we haven't met. Um, who we meet in the next area. Because I know who it is. I know who the technic technician is, so I know where I'd meet him. And if the storyline's going where it's going, and I'm gonna go to the Toronto, then I would meet him in the next area. Um. However, like I said, I'm not gonna do that because I want my duo back. I want Sira, and apparently, his demon Exodus spells that he can get uh, with Malthus are really good. Apparently. I'm willing to give it that tr that chance. I really am. So, with that in mind, oh wow! Just kind of just destroyed him with his three attacks around, didn't he? He still has fireballs. So I'll let him have at it. Yeah, so, like, the animals that we fought, that are just called animals, um, those are demons. Uh, the Animal 3s apparently don't stand, like, much of a chance at all if you have his demon, his demon spells at maximum level. Like, I guess they just absolutely destroy them. Uh, the fears are nothing at all, either. They just fall apart to his demon spells. Especially Exodus at high levels, because, like, he has enough spell points to cast it, and Exodus is the all version. So it's just like, instant battle winner. <laughs> All you gotta do is make the other characters survive. Oh man, it's level 11. I actually just realized that this point in the game would actually be a really good time to train, wouldn't it? She's only level 10. He's only level 11. And then Drear and Tom are high level, but I could get their levels up easily right now due to the fact that I don't know where I'm going I really hope I was supposed to go west hey that's where the treasure was recognize that yeah making some progress I'm the, headed in the right direction <coughs> oh this takes me over where the bridge was Okay. That's helpful. Now I know where I am. Let's rest. So that the party has some magic points. Because he goes through them like tissue paper. Whenever I get to the point where I can actually teach him new spells, wherever I can do that, he, uh, he gets a spell steal spell that allows him to steal spell points other enemies. Allows him to become pretty much the most sustainable spell point character in the game. If it works. I actually don't know if it works or not and I didn't read like, yes, he becomes the best. I have no clue. He might be the worst. I don't have any idea at all. Okay, supposedly they're in the tavern somewhere. This isn't the tavern, this is the Mage's Guild. Sorry about that. Ah, here they are. How good to see you again, Mel Melphus and I have had a beautiful time here. You'd like us to join me again, Tom? Yes. A little excitement will do me and Melphus some good after our rest. Sarah and Melphus join the group. 
Woo! Thank God. Okay, good. You still have all your stuff. For some reason, you took it all off, but you still have all your stuff. It's easily remedied. I'll just put it all back on. Alright, there we go. Next stop, Potion Land. Where I'm gonna do a whole bunch of off... off-screen money grinding. That's right. <clears throat> Next stop is, in fact, money grinding. It's gonna be really boring for me, and I'm not gonna make you guys watch it because of how incredibly boring I expect it to be for me. Um, remember that, uh... That lady back in the first town that gave me free potions every once in a while? Yup. Need to pay a visit to her. Um... <clears throat> if for no other reason, then I need the free potions. <laughs> Which I know, that's horrible. But it's also true. I need the free potions. Um... Whether or not I'm actually going to just sell all of them or not, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to money grind off of her like that, or if I am just going to basically go and get some free potions, but one way or another, I will be going in there and getting a whole bunch of free blue potions and probably making money off of them, because look at all these training points I have, like with everybody. And remember what I said about how expensive it is to train critical hit? Yeah. You see the money grinding in the future? Because I do. So, now that we have my full party, I'm going to wander back to that teleportation panel, and I'm going to teleport back to the first town, and I'm going to do a whole bunch of money grinding. Um, I'm also going to teach her some free spells. I'll take you guys along for the shopping that I'll do after the money grinding, probably, actually. So, um... Yeah, I don't know if this video's been very long. Probably hasn't, actually. <laughs> so, uh... Now that we have our party members back... Let's go ahead and go into our combat positions. I can prepare you to see our final combat setup. Yep, there it is. Actually, no. There it is. Harriet and Kunag, if I remember right. Regardless of protection, which actually, considering what I just did... I should probably give Malthus the protection amulet and give him that. Um, if you look at it, 33 life, 39. Not a whole lot better. Harriet only has 30. Dreer, however, you know him to be... Ooh, he has 100 now. Awesome. She has 64. She also has a 24 protection, which is not bad. So putting her on one of the outer edges is a decent idea. Melthus, he's on one of the other outer edges because really, when it comes down to it, if Melthus goes down, Melthus goes down. <laughs> no one will, no one will really hate. No one will be hating for that, right? All right. Um, <coughs> I don't see any reason to go to the merchant here. Um, I can get the same weapons and stuff at the the other town so yeah I'm just gonna wander probably do some fighting along the way and stuff so um when I come back I will be shopping in various towns and it'll be a disjointed video of me teleporting from shop to shop to shop to shop to shop doing shopping probably um I'm just gonna put the shopping on video so you guys all know what I'm buying and why I'm buying it and blah 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 and you can go along with my character growth um I don't see any reason to document all my wandering between these shops, so there it is. Uh, when it happens, it happens, and I'll see you all then. Have a good one.